Hello everybody, back again Saul here, for more Saul Plays Minecraft, and I decided to start recording here, because I found something, right there, and, you know, diamonds, you know I had said I wanted to find first diamonds on camera, but, I was doing some caving, and there they are, so we'll have to make do with mining them on camera, instead of, you know, finding them on camera, GG bet. Bad stuff everywhere, maybe. Let's light some stuff up. I am not on peaceful this time. I checked before I started recording. Ooh, creepy cave noise. Too spooky for me. Come Something's gonna come from up there, I just know it. It's gonna be like a creeper. Hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be like a creeper, and as soon as I mine it and it drops, it's gonna explode and blow up the diamond. Oh man, how bad would that be? Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Mouse, what are you doing? I saw my mouse was fine until I start recording, and I decides to. Act up. Okay. Hey. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Why you do the things that you do? Okay. Let's pick up this gold roller here. Is it just one? It's just one. Yep. <laughs> one whole diamond. Great. We're on our way to having all the diamonds. Listen to that. Lava bubble. Why am I hearing more lava this way? Oh, that's why. Oh, there's a skeleton. Hey, Skelly. Can you even get over here? I don't think you can. Okay. Man. That's the only thing I hate about these lava pools. It's always like one block space above them. So you have to like mine out the whole way you're gonna walk. There you go. That place wide open. Ooh. Okay. Epic skeleton fight uh, over lava. Where's this guy? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Haha! -ha. Whoa. Did you just rapid fire me? What is that? I don't want to lay down water for him to cross over. <laughs> I think it's going to go that way anyway. Yep. Hey! Why am I lagging? Quit lagging. Bear back. Let's fight. Good. Stupid skeleton making my game lag. Look at this. What is this? Whatever. Okay. Let's get 
some light around here. Ceilings. All right. So I think I'm just going to do some caving here. We finally get another caving episode. After last episode turned into a let's make a smelting room episode. Just don't get me wrong. It's a good it's a good room to have. But I wanted a caving episode. So now we get the caving episode. Hey. What's done? Oh, great. Of course it all burns up. Get out of here. I hate having to switch between things while I'm mining. I'm just lazy like that. around here. Oh, more redstone. Good. Hello? More redstone over here. Why are you lagging so much, game? Man, my computer hates me. Alright. Get an obsidian job. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh man. No, I'll hold it in. Hold it back. Okay. Sneeze gone. Alright. Hello, game. Okay. There's so much lava. If I don't find good stuff down here, I'm gonna be so mad. What is this? Okay, that's right. Man, I need a good computer, is what I need. <laughs> Any money for a new computer? Conveniently, there's a down, uh, do donate link in the description below. Haha, <laughs> shameless self promotion. <laughs> you don't have to donate if you don't want to, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? Alright, we go. You know, back when uh, Minecraft Let's Plays first started being a thing, Let's Players would set up donations and then they'd have like the big room, like a donation room, and they would have, you know, a certain type of block for such and such donation, like donation over, or between this amount and this amount would get you this type of block in the donation room or whatever. Uh, some Let's Players had like tree farms. And then, like, each tree had a sign under it that said, you know, the name of the person who donated and how much they donated. Uh, they would have mine shafts, and each, like, shaft would have a sign above it that would have the name of the person who donated. I should do a thing like that. No, I could have it so it could be the person's real name. It could be their YouTube channel. It could be whatever. And it's it's funny seeing now a lot of let's players who like are good friends now and do collabs and everything and like back when they first started they um they would like donate to each other like before they even knew each other like they would just know of each other because of YouTube like they would donate to each other it's it's it's, it's a cool thing to see hey let me let me through here please Hey, quit double placing. Jeez. Can you stop? Hey. Uh, water current too strong. Uh, come on. Oh. oh, man. Can I get up here? Good. There we go.
anything good over here? Come on, man. So much lava. Not enough good stuff. There's some lights down there. Dead end. Okay. Yeah, also, some pretty big YouTubers now who, you know, put so much time and effort into their quality of their videos. Seeing, like, their older videos and they just have, like, terrible frame rates. Kind of like mine here. It's just like, oh man. And, you know, they accept donations and everything and then they got, you know, new computers and such. And then they're, they shot up their frame rate. And now they're big time YouTubers. Because quality matters in YouTube. Which I agree with. Quality, quality should be a thing people strive for. You don't want every every Joe Schmo having terrible frame rate and being like, hey, this is my let's play. But says the guy with terrible frame rate, right? Oh. Uh, whatever. Hey Skelly, I hear you. Stay away from me, please. What do I even have on me? An emerald, diamond, tons of iron. How about let's go back up? Well, let's light this up plate first. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, I should really get all this iron because my iron has seriously been depleted. <laughs> Now that, uh, after I made all those hoppers. <laughs> so, all that iron I think I'm gonna get. Oh, look, more iron. Amazing. This is why I carry four stacks of torches with me. Because I know when I go caving, I go everywhere. I always run out of torches, so I always just carry four stacks with me. Which is a stack of sticks, stack of coal, make four stacks of torches, and I'm good to go. Get all the time. Hey. Go. Come on. There we go. To eat. Looks like you can see the the water. Through the, uh, is that the skeleton? No, I don't know, Skelly. But yeah, you could you could see the water through the food particles. It's funny. Didn't I say I was gonna go back up to the surface? And here I am caving some more. Whatever. Oh, this is under an ocean, isn't it? A ravine. What? What is this? It is a ravine, isn't it? It is. I don't know. I don't want to explore a ravine right now. But thank you. Nonetheless. Hey, get up there. What is this? Man, water currents are dumb. to stop exploring and go back to the surface and smelt all this stuff up. Come on. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, gold. Gold. Give me gold. What 
What do you need gold for? Like golden apples, which you don't really use. Um, clocks, which who makes a clock really? Golden tools, no one makes golden tools, no one makes golden armor. a stack and a half, right? Yep. Now let's see if I can find my way out of this cave, man. See, look, I'm lost already. Okay. I don't want to take episode of time away <laughs> so I'll find my way back up and I'll see you guys in a little bit all oh, right so this is the best way to get out of caves um I may or not have gone may or may not have gone caving a little more and I got another emerald got some more gold some more iron some more coal but we're getting out now and if you ever find yourself lost in the cave, like me, cough, cough, um, this is the best way to get out of the cave. You know, they say don't dig straight up, but you can dig straight up. Just do this, place a torch, dig up. So if any gravel falls on you, it hits this torch and breaks. Super simple. Man, how deep am I even? See, oh man, if I was a couple blocks over, these gravel would have hit me. Okay. Am I almost out? Please? I could cheat by looking at F3, but I don't want to look at F3. Am I inside like a mountain? No, I'm going to look at F3. Extreme Hills, I'm at 61. Close. Oh, there's dirt. Oh, that's the surface. I hear cows. So we're pretty close to the surface. Yep. Hey. Where are we even? Something's gonna spawn in there because it's too high. Oh well. Um. There's a torch there, so I've been there. Let's go see what's over there. Oh, caves. Okay. Hello. Hmm. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. Jungles just kill my frame rate. Look at that. Oh, man. Stupid jungles. I know the reason for that. It's because the the vines on the trees and the way the trees spawn is uh, jungle trees have this weird thing where they spawn leaves too far from the wood. So it starts to, starts to despawn like that up there. It starts to despawn and then all the vines are continually growing. So the game's trying to process all of that despawning leaves. Uh, calculating whether it's going to drop a sapling, and then timing the growth of the vines. All right, I was literally right on top of this mountain here. So, get in there. Why am I coming in here? Whoa, what happened? Oh, I placed her. Okay. So iron goes in here. Gold in there. Um, let's see. Could get fifty one coal in each of these. Good. 
Oh yeah, I fixed the house too, by the way. It got blown up by those creepers, remember? Last episode? Was it last episode? Yes, I think so. And the window. So that's fixed now. Alright. Here, I don't know. I still don't know what I want to smelt here. It's just a miscellaneous smelter, really. Toss that extra coal in there. What do we have? Tons of crap. Dirt cobble. Got a diamond though. Good. Rotten flesh. Alright. How's the cows doing? Hey, the baby grew up. Nice. Hmm. Alright. Well. I think that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.